Did you know that you can get a citation at the San Francisco airport for driving a car that has advertising on it? One of our readers and drivers reported to us that he did in fact get a citation at SFO. In this video, we're gonna break down what happened to him and how it could impact you. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what I think is really going on here. Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And uh, this week we got an, an email from one of our readers and a driver, fellow driver here in San Francisco, named Greg, not his real name. And he reported that he got a citation for driving a car at the airport that had advertising on it. So we're gonna break that down and we're gonna start off by looking at the background of advertising on your car. <laughs> Before we get into the actual citation, let's take a look at some of the different ways that you can advertise on your car. Now this is an example of a what's called a wrap, and this is a company called Carvertize. And uh, our driver, Greg, is a Carvertize customer. So that's one way that you can do it. Another way you can do it is with a company called, Bar, uh, called Firefly. And this is where you've got the advertisement um, on top of your car, and it's a digital. Uh, so you'll see things like DoorDash, for example. I see that advertised a lot up here on top of someone's car, and that's called a fin. Uh, another, another form of advertising we see a lot is the uh, taxi cab, right? So the taxi cab have these, like, these little sandwich boards on top of their car. And then uh, Greg's car, here you see, uh, has a cover, okay, which is a, uh, a service that makes it easier to get a, uh, insurance. So there's all of these different ways of advertising, and if you drive a lot in, in uh, at the airport, you'll see all these different forms of advertising driving around. So why did our <laughs> reader and driver, Greg, get a citation? Well, next we'll look at the citation and see if that gives us any clues. <laughs> So this is how it went down for uh, Greg. On uh, February 24th, he received this email from Lyft. He says, we have been notified that SFO issued a citation because you engaged in prohibited activity on airport property. And then please note, blah, 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 that uh, even though they're based on driver conduct, as a one-time exception, Lyft will pay this particular citation on your behalf and will not require you to pay the cost of the citation. So good on you, Lyft. And then down here, it says the most common reasons are, you know, circling the terminal roadways, staging in the airport terminal, blocking crosswalks, etc. Nothing having to do with advertising. So then uh, attached to this email was this, which is the actual citation. So somebody in the yellow vest wrote this out by hand and uh, submitted it and it's, it's kind of interesting so uh, these are all the different things that they would normally give somebody a citation for leaving a vehicle unintended soliciting passengers staging unsafe driving but none of that applies so as we go down here here's where it gets interesting right it says number 3.5 so that's not even listed here it just says advertising and promotion prohibited and then under comments, ping time 1026, I don't know what that means. Vehicle observed operating with advertisements wrap. So that's that's it. That's it. So it's pretty interesting that it's not even listed. So this is like a new kind of a violation, uh, which leads me to think uh, we're on to something here. So let's go now and see what we can find in the San Francisco airport the SFO rules and regulations. So I went online and I found a PDF, which was called City and County of San Francisco Airport Commission Rules and Regulations from March 15, 2016. And I found these two sections, uh, prohibiting promoting advertising or soliciting sales or business for any commercial enterprise, including but not limited to distributing free product samples or other promotional materials. So if you just generally, vaguely, broadly speaking, say advertising, that's what these cars and taxis are doing. 
And then it says placing signs, notices, posters, again, advertisements, um, or other writing in or around airport property, including but not limited to the interior. So basically they're saying anywhere in the airport, uh, you're not supposed to place signs, notices, posters, or advertisements. It doesn't say you can't put them on a car, but it doesn't say you can. So it's very broad and very open to interpretation. But apparently uh, this guy or woman in the yellow vest on this particular day decided that this was in fact a violation. So what is Lyft and what is Carvertai saying to our reader and driver, Greg? They say, we are looking into it. We are looking into it. So that's not giving us much information. This seems to be a, an unchartered territory, which we're getting into here. And that's all the information that we have. So in the next section of this video, we're going to hypothesize what we think is going on. So in summary, let me tell you what I think is really going on. What I think is really going on here is a cash grab by the San Francisco airport. I think they kind of found this loophole and they want to cash in and get a little piece of the rideshare industry. All these hundreds and thousands of cars a day coming through, many of them with advertising, and they can just write a citation and boom. We don't know what the citation amount is, 150, 200 dollars. Think about how much money you could make over and over each day by writing these citations. And think about the disruption it would be for the advertisers. But I think that's what's going on. I think it's the old profit motive. Greed is good. Capitalism alive and well. That's what I think is going on. The other theory is that this yellow vest was just having a lousy day and he just wanted to lash out and he thought, huh, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get this guy and write him a citation for advertising, which as far as we know, hasn't happened yet. So if this has happened to you, let us know. We would very be interested to find out if uh, anyone else out there has gotten a, a citation for advertising at the airport. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't signed up yet for this uh, YouTube channel, by all means, sign up. We'd love to have you be a part of our team. We give you lots of good content every single week, week in and week out, to keep you up to date with the latest tip, techniques, and news uh, about being a rideshare driver. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.